पेशेंट ना बिजी है जी पिंजर टाइम में Why we 
than a phone. Now, if you ask me, just the how you started? Already the package is installed, but how you started? Because everyone you know who knows Excel. So Excel is nothing but a matrix. The matrix means there are some rows and some columns. So when you put any kind of data, any kind of data, then the you know there's some rows and some columns. So row denotes how many respondents, how many guesses you have collected. And column denotes how many variables, how many attributes, how many features. So this is the first. Second thing is that, so when you start any research, either based on primary data or based on secondary data. So definitely, if it is primary data, based on some question, question one, question two. So mainly, when you develop the uh, primary data, research. It is divided into three parts. So why is that the three parts? Primary data. Because first part is the demography. First part. Everyone knows what is demography. Second part, you know it is an input. Input. And third part is zero. So for an input, on form your domain knowledge, there are some questions. And this question, you know, you can say either in Niger term or in the uh, good card question. So maximum research from the marketing, from the behavioral journal, from the HR opinion. So we are mainly solving, you know, the same. So in case of Niger scale, basically we are using four point scale on the basis of the domain definition. Some are using five point scale and some are using seven. So these are basically seven. But I am telling you, Leica scale is discovered in 1932. And before uh, Leica scale, the Haskell scale is discovered in 1932. So naturally, when you go for any primary data research, so it's my request to all of you, you take some concept about, you know, today's class is not possible to give the reasoning about the all scale. So you take the sound concept of why the Tuscan scale is found, what is the need for Niger scale, and what is the need for the Tuscan scale. And Tuscan scale developed in 1940. So from the development scale, you can understand that Tuscan scale is a parent scale. But question is why the maximum users, maximum, we are not using the Tuscan scale, because really, really it's complicated. So that's why we take the medium in the lecture. So, so naturally, when you start SPS, then we divide into five parts. We divide into five parts. We divide into five parts. I, again, I'm telling you, this is the sequential software. Any software is the sequential. Why is it sequential? We have to maintain this high part, sequential. So what is the first part? First part is variable view. Variable view. That means how many variables involved for your research. Either maybe in the questionnaire form or in some viewing. Anything. So first is the variable. So if this is correct, if it is correct, so then you start your data. Data. So but this data view, you know, this is very interesting. So when you, it's a sequential. That means data view will come after variable view. So this data, maybe the primary, maybe the secondary. Is it okay or not? Maybe the primary, maybe the second. So if your variable view is wrong, so no need for it. Then I will automatically go. So after this part and this part, number three is the output view, which is your analysis. 
जैसे है ना आउटपुट तो आउटपुट विल बेसिकली द स्टैटिस्टिकल द स्टैटिस्टिकल एनालिसिस बेस्ड ऑन द टोटल नॉलेज ऑफ दिस दिस इज द थर्ड पार्ट नाउ द फोर्थ पार्ट इज द ड्राफ्ट सोचने की व्हाट इज ड्राफ्ट सपोज व्हेन यू यूज एसपीएस you get some output and using correlation we get some output of correlation i use some descriptive we get some output of descriptive so when you get some output i need to take the print out so for the print out there are two options one option is we can make it customized so what is the meaning of customized so directly from sps so we can copy either in word Directly we can SPSS, we can copy to Excel, and then we make some customize for my research. That is one type of mode. And directly we can take the printout from SPSS. So that is in cost draft. Directly we can take the printout. Okay. The last one is very very important. That is called syntax. Syntax. So, what is syntax? You may be not the question. Why Excel is so easy? Why SPSS is so easy? Because these are the packages, and these packages are the menu data. Menu data. I am telling you a very interesting story. You can go to the Google, and in the Google. There are so many uh, views, videos. I mean, learn Excel within one hour. Learn SPSS within four and five hours. Learn, uh, you know, Jamu B within four and five hours. So, see why? Because these are the packages. But if it is language, it is language like C, C plus plus, you know, Python. It is not easy. And why SPSS is so powerful? It is the combination of you know menu as well as other. That's why SPSS is so powerful. So now you can ask me the question. So when I am using the SPSS, or when I use the Jamovi, when I use the Excel, any kind of package, these are basically we are using the front end. But back end is going on something language. So we have to think which languages. Are acting as a package. This is very important. Which languages? Why the spaces is so powerful? Python is that. That. So syntax view means I will show you when you run any output. So automatically syntax will come. So what is the advantage of syntax? I am telling you. For the some research paper, there are some restriction of it. So naturally, you are supposed to solve your research problem using factor analysis, and factor analysis tomorrow when I will show you that these are you know twenty pages out. So if you put this twenty pages out to the journal, the research paper paper will be fixed. But if you give the only syntax, so they will accept because syntax is hard to use. Because if you learn the syntax or five or six lines, that is very interesting. To learn the syntax, so we mean you know or you get all. The so that is the advantage of syntax. Okay, and automatically when you learn the output, the syntax will come out. Okay, and this syntax is written in the R. So today actually I will show you with a very small example to understand your what is the meaning of variable. What is the meaning of database and what is the meaning of output? Because if you understand these three things, so automatically after some time or some days, easily you can understand the syntax. So we start with a very small example. So I am telling you, uh, when you start any kind of any software, first you give the description of your So what is the description of the research? And for that research purpose, we set the examples. 
that is your data. data. And all variables are actually the data source. So initially, for starting uh, GB1, for starting SPL, the first time telling one story. Suppose in a class, say there are 15 students. So that's my sample search. 15 students. And 15 students have given the examination in the three subjects. The subjects are, say, mathematics, say, statistics, say, operation. So they have given the examination in the three subjects. And subject marks is 100. That is the full marks, 100. And the class is composed of gender, that is there. So this is a very simple problem I started. So again, repeat the problem. In a class, there are total 15 students. And they have given the examination in the three subjects. The subjects are mathematics, statistics, and operational system. And the class is composed of male and female, that is the gender. So that means how many variables involved, we have to know that. So there are total five variables involved for this data. So what are the five variables? Number one is the roll number of the students. This is the number one variable. Is it okay or not? Number two is the how many subjects involved. Clear? That is the, the how many subjects in the So these three subjects are treated as a variable. And last one is the gender is treated as a variable. So for this problem, I have considered the five variables. Is it okay or not? Now, the problem is, the problem is, the, what is the nature of data? Nature of data. This is the real problem. You already have written five variables. One is the roll number. Another is the three subject marks. Under the gender, all are of same nature. This is the question. All are of same nature. Because roll number is the only used for identification. Identification. Okay. There is a unique identification. That's why it's called unique identifier. Subject marks, basically, you know that it's the human quality. Is it clear? In our respect or in India academics, the subject marks can never be fashioned. So when you describe, in your research paper, you have to discuss this. The subject marks must be the numeric. Subject marks must be the integer. There is no question of fraction mark. This is the number one. Number two, gender is classified as the male and female. Some researchers, they are taking also single. I am not going to that part. So I am taking only the gender type, male and female. So now, so how we understand the nature of data in a simple language? So when you get, get some data, so you divide into four parts. That is, this is the first step do view. This is the first step do view. So what is do do? Suppose D for description. O for ordering, B for distance, O for origin. So that is the do do, bingo, bingo. Okay. Now I have a data, say gender. Gender. So then I'll ask, gender having some description? Yes. Yes. Gender having some ordering? No. I cannot, can never order in between gender, male and female. Very bad. No ordering? No distance because this is not mathematics, this is not arithmetic, operator, algebraic. No. And no origin. So for the gender, only you can describe. Is it okay? So this is one kind of measure in research. So there is a name, this is 
for nominals that is the name for nominals only for understanding but this is the logic of it because no order is no distance no origin only the so next part is coming the designation designation so definitely designation having some description designation having the ordering designation no distance no origin so this is one scale why do we have to maintain order ranking so this is called ordering now come to the point you know some income 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 that is some description ordering distance no origin so that is called you know intervals everyone know intervals now i am coming to the point another scale say i am giving a temperature temperature so temperature we can measure in centigrade and fahrenheit so this temperature having some description having some order having some distance having some because there is a meaningful meaning of the degree centigrade that is some origin so really uh, i am telling you if you are it is really difficult you know uh, to remember this four uh, layer so when you apply software so then do do decompose to dots because or everyone know familiar with the dots this commonly existing so remember so this do d and this is o that is called do and these two converted in s that is so that we remember only the three measures one is the descriptive measures one is the ordering measures and one is the scale measures so not only that if we divide this is very interesting if we divide this if we divide this dots into two power this zero which you cover under the categorical variable under the categorical variable and s for non categorical variable so those who are the student of mathematics so these are for matrix scale and these are for non matrix scale so non matrix scale are called the categorical so categorical there are two types of categorical one is the nominal and one is the ordinal and another is the scale that's all so when you apply sps there are three scale three scale and now in the later version of sps because later version of sps they are using one measure that is called unknown measure other than if you suppose you need some other scale to get that is called unknown measure. but really most of the researcher for their work they are using three scale one is the nominal one is the ordinal and one is the scale so this is the okay now i'm telling you why this scale is important suppose we are applying mean we have to know For which data set we are calculating? We are calculating standard deviation. We have to know for which what type of scale we are using. We are calculating correlation coefficient, regression, logistic regression, FP square. We have to mention this is the scale, scale, scale. This is the categorical or non-categorical. So this is that's why this is very important scale measures. And in my PPT, everything is given in detail. But the different scale scales are used here. So now I'm coming to my, uh, you know, this example. So here I, you go to the variable view first. Is it visible to all of you? So under variable view, this is the first step. But this is basically I am using, uh, I am using version twenty. But I started to learn SPSS. 
four parcel day. I started parcel day, and up to fifteen parcel fifteen, there are under variable view, there are total ten parcels. So, but nowadays, you know, the, for the researchers, there are some columns are extra. Basically, these columns are used for only for marketing. But since I am taking the class for the developed class, not for the marketing student only, so I will use only the same column. But the last column, they are using for the building known column, used for the marketing. So these are the 10 columns. So what is the first column? Name. So what is the meaning of name? Now under name column, you put your domain variable. I am telling you what problem you will face. Suppose most of the researchers are facing the problem where they want to feed the data in SPSS for the primary data. Because in most of the primary data, the number of questions are more. Say there are 15 questions. Say 50 questions. Try to understand 50 questions. So definitely, question one is treated as one million. Question 2 treated as 1 million. So in this way, 50 questions are treated as 50 million. So, and question 1 is a statement form. So I like Maruti Nidhi. And these are the five steps. There are so many questions. So when these are the different questions, so don't write, it's my request to all of you, don't write under name column in detail. Don't write under name column in the detail. You write the short abbreviation. So what is the, how you write? Suppose you are doing research for HR. HR. Some title is there, suppose. So you write one abbreviation, say HR underscore Q1. Then you understand HR is a domain and Q1 is the first question. Don't describe detail under the form. In this way, you write 50 questions. Is it OK? So this is the step one. So again, I'm repeating, just to check my thing, I have written row number as a first question. I can write row number. No, I only write row number. And there is no gap. You don't give any gap space. You can write one thing, underscore you can use roll, under, that is appropriate for that will take. But don't write roll gap, no, that will not take. Similarly, I have written subject one, any subject. I have taken subject to any subject. I have taken subject three, any subject. And instead of three subjects, I can take seven subjects for very subject. Is it okay or not? And gender, I have taken gender. So these are my five steps. Is it clear under name column? So now come to the second part. Now what is the data type? Which is very important. So data type basically, you know, the problem of statistics is that Statistics basically is the you know, transformation from quantity to quantity. Try to understand. Quality to quantity. If I say gender is the male and female, this is the quality. String, character. But if I write male and they say coded as one and female as coded as two, so I convert the two. And that will help us. For the statistics. So that's why coding is very important. Is it okay or not? So, so that's why type is numeric. So how many data type is numeric? Uh, standard, uh, uh, SPSS. So these are all data types. All data types. So I'm telling you, for our research, most of the research, we need the numeric data type. When we deal with the time series, date data type. And if we are using SPSS, you know, in USA, and we need some currency dollar, we need the dollar currency. 
Okay, so these are characteristics, the uh, stream characteristics. So there are different generators, but for our case, we need the only the memory and some cases stream and some cases jet. That's all. And if you ask me, is that why is what are the use of this comma and dot? Basically, these are used in the banking statement. Banking data type. Okay. So banking data type is also banking notation. They are very good. Now, rule number we know is the new thing. Is it okay or not? Subject one is the new thing. Subject to new thing. Subject to new thing. Definitely present the new thing. Why new thing? We have to transform the code. Zero as one and zero as two. So second column is zero as one. Now the third column, which very important. Third column is the width and decimal. So I am telling you. I have taken only 15 roll numbers, 15 students. Can you tell me how many uh, how many digits? 15, two digits. Two digits. Is it okay or not? So, uh, so that means width equal to two, and decimal is equal to zero because. No fraction problem. Is it up? I hope it is clear. So that's why I have taken we equal to two. Now, for the subject one, I have taken we equal to three. Why? Because there is a chance that student can get hundred out of hundred. Because there's a total marks. That's why I have taken we this. And no fraction marking decimal is there. I hope it is clear. Similarly for subject two, similarly for subject three. And gender I have taken with dash one and decimal is there. So up to fourth column is clear. Okay. So now come to the part fifth column, which is very very important for the research. That is called the level column. So level column basically used for the documentation of of the level. Again, repeat. Level column used for the documentation of the level. Column. Now, why this documentation? Under them, I have to write written the roll number. So, if I ask you roll number of what college, roll number of which students, so we have to specify roll number of the BCA, uh, you know, MBA first year student of BCA Engineering College of 19, uh, you know, 2002. As documentation. And document, why documentation is needed for the future researchers? For the future researchers, it will help. So that's why level column is very, very important. I have written subject one in mathematics. You understand? The master of mathematics. Subject two, statistics, subject three, opportunity. Is it okay or not? So I'm telling you uh, in so many workshops. Uh, someone told me, so sir, can you tell me, uh, out of all variables, which one is the important? Because name follow is very easy to understand. Time, anyone knows. With decimal, everyone knows. Level, documentation, everyone knows. But out of this column, which is the most significant column? The significant column is the sixth column. Significant column is the Sixth column, why this is called the value level. This is called the value level. I'm giving them very interest. Suppose when you apply like a scale, so any statement under five scale or seven scale also. So definitely for one, two, three, four, five, one is there is a meaning of any poor, two is the poor, three is the average. So definitely there will be some place in software where you have to write. Is it okay? Or not? There will be some place. So naturally, this is the value level will serve this purpose. So if you and value level basically used for categorical variables. Again, repeat value level basically used for categorical variables. So categorical variable means either nominal or 
So when some variable is the nominal, always you have to think we need the variable. When some variable is ordinal, we need So out of these five variables, for my this problem, for the low number, no need of variables, because it is not the catalyst. Subject to one, no need of variables. Subject to, no, subject to, no. But for the gender, is the categorical variable, we need variables. So when you put some statement, either in the ordinal form, one, two, three, four, five, we need variables. So now you go to the gender. So when you click, this menu will come. This menu will come. And if we check this menu, very interesting part. So first is called value. Second is called level. So value means magnitude. Level means character. Is it again? Value means magnitude. Level means character. So Shayon, first you select this and this card. Remove this. Yeah, remove this. Is it okay? I'm removing. Now you go to value 1. You put right 1. And you write level male. Is it okay? We put value equal to 1 and level male and add. You put value equal to 2. Here, level equal to female. As. Similarly, when you go to the questionnaire, questionnaire, questionnaire 1, 2, very good. In this way, right. And click OK. I hope it is clear to all. So up to six columns today I have discussed. So what are the six columns? I have a data set. I have a question. From that question, we know how many variables are needed for my study. Then I put the variables name. Then what is the data type? With decimal, documentation level, and last of all is the answer. So now we go to the data view. So this is my data. Already I have stored. So one thing I am telling you, why SPSS is so popular? SPSS is a very interesting feature, like import as an well as I can repeat, SPSS having some very good feature, like import as well as it. So what is the import? You collect the data, you collect the data in Excel sheet. And easily you can import the data from Excel to Excel. Is it okay? So that is called import. Now you get some output in SPSS. And you export the output to Word. That is the So this is very, really, very interesting feature. Import as well as Excel. So now there are total 15 observations. There are roll number, subject to one mark, subject to mark, and gender one. So suppose child will go to the value level A bar, A bar, A. Uh, I don't know. I will go to the data view. Uh, you will select this part, this A part, A to A. Just to check, this is very interesting. What is written here? A1. What is the meaning? 1 means value, A means together. So this is the default file. Default menu. Again, you select this. Again, you select. Question is why? When you input the data, after inputting the data, there are so many uh, attributes, so many things. And if you put this menu, easily you can understand that how many variables are there. How many variables are categorical? So categorical matrix many things. This is called the toggle switch. So toggle means value to level, level to value. Value to level, level to level. Toggle switch. So naturally. Using this way, you can understand gender is the category. Is it okay? Now, this is my data set. Now, I give some query, objective. For the reason, we have no objective. So, my first objective one for this data set, yeah, how can I get the average mark for this data using SPSS? Is it okay or not? How can I get the average marks for each student using SPSS. So naturally, so what is the step one? First you go to transform.
you go to tennis court. Here, you go to tennis court. Sir, can we put the marks? No, no. Ask one thing. One thing you can do that. I'm giving five minutes time. So don't mind. Five minutes time. You just in turn empty level. Yes. So then you can laugh. You learn a lot of things. Within five minutes, easily you can put the level. I'm giving five minutes. Time.
left to right. Also, you can deselect from right to left. That's why it is called toggle switch. So you select subject one and move. Is it okay? Clear? Now you can use this calculator or your laptop calculator. Use plus sign. You write plus. You write plus clear. You select subject two and move into right panel. Plus subject three, move into right panel. So my work is complete. Now close first panel. Is it okay? Divide division sign. Division sign. Divide by three. And keep moving. I hope you get the result. You go to the input file. Sir, enter. And everything is in. Is it okay? First of all, you tell me it is okay or not. So now, what is the advantage of this SPSS? You go to the variable view. You go to the variable view. And you, when you go to the variable view, this average variable is clear. Is it clear? In the, those who are from computer background, the science background, there are very interesting concepts in database. In database, there is a transaction file and master. Yes. Transaction file and master. So we create, initially we created from my research, a master file of high variables. And we need our from the research requirement to get some transaction through. So average is the transaction. So this is the most important because you know you can, this is basically database. And you know Oracle is a very, very powerful database. And why it is called powerful database? For any relational database, there are 12 properties you know in very well. And out of 12 property, Oracle satisfies 11 points. SPSS is also a part of That's why SPSS is so important. Okay. So that is one property of database. The average is not only that, I am telling you, very interesting. By which is H? This is the by default, and decimal is 2. So why initially, when you input the marks of subject 1, that is the input. But after the taking the average, it is converted to point. We go to the average mark. Is okay? So that's why by default created H. Okay. First part is clear to all of this. Next the objective two. Question number two. You write the question number two. Question number two. Uh, this is the most most important part for any kind of thing. Huh? Hello now.
Can I start now? Yes, sir. So question number two is a very important. I am telling you. Suppose you are collecting this data. Try to understand. And there it is only 50. But in the real <coughs> research, maybe 2,000 data. So that is the individual data. Then most of the research we need some aggregate that is the class. So using SPSS, how can you form the class in class? So better to say, how can you find the people in the distribution? Using SPSS, how can you calculate the people in the distribution? Question is clear. I don't take too high. So first of all, step one. You go to the transform menu. You go to the transform. So number one, you go to the transform menu. Yeah. Then you select visual binning, just to check. Visual binning, binning means binding. Visual binning. Clear. So we get this menu. Take time, huh? very complicated. Really is complicated. Very important and very complicated. And so I am showing with one subject. Because here I have taken three subjects. First of all, you select mathematics. I am moving to right panel. Clear? Is it okay? Then we continue. Okay? So we get this one. So many steps. So just to check, subject, try to understand. Subject one is the level. Mathematics one is mathematics is the level. Documentation. So better you type any W, new. You type any W, that is new. Is it okay? Under being variable. Okay. Now, in statistics, there are one concept is called class interval. And what is concept is called class bound. Easy. One concept is called class interval, one is called class bound. So this class interval, it is a discrete. Class boundary is the continuum. So there discrete means there is a gap. Continuous means no gap. Clear? So what is the example? Say 10 to 19, 20 to 29. So this is the example of class interval. Because there is a gap between 19 and 20. You do not know. And this is the class boundary, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. So I am telling you, when you do your research, you try to find class interval. Again, repeat, when you go for frequency distribution table, try to calculate class interval. So the, how can I know, SPS is how you know which one is the class interval and which one is the class boundary. Just to do two things. One is the included, another is called excluded. Excluded means gap, included means no gap. So you select excluded. Is it okay? You select excluded. 
because I like to find class interval. Now after selecting excluded, try to understand. Say you have a data set. You have a data set. These are the data. So many data. And from this data, you know only the minimum value and only the lower maximum. This this is known to you. This is the minimum and this is the maximum. And from this minimum and maximum, easily you can calculate range. That is equal to maximum. Minus minimum. Is it okay? Hello. So there is a very interesting thing that how many classes, number of classes, into width of the class, width of the class, and is equal to range. This is the formula. How many classes? What is the width of the class? And what is the range of the class? Is it okay? So can you tell me which one is known only? Which is known? Number of classes is known. You don't know. Range. Width is not known. Only range is known. So we can define like this way: the number of classes A, width is B, range is R. The problem starts. Problem starts. This is known. This is not known. This is known. There is no mathematics in the world. There is no mathematics. I don't. Know. There is no mathematics in the world by which you can solve it. So that's why we need the trial and error method. That's why we need the domain knowledge. So what is the domain knowledge? Domain knowledge is we. We number of classes. This is the domain knowledge. Number of classes can never be factored. This is the domain knowledge, and domain knowledge is which may be factored. So when you solve your problem using SPSS, you try to keep the value of which, not the number of classes. Because if we supply the width of the class, automatically number of classes will come. So say why? Because I know. B is known, already have supply, so automatically you will come. So that part I will solve in SPSS. So now you go to make custom. Now we select make custom. Is it okay? So, yeah. so when you select make part point, try to understand. This is the first part point location. This is the number of cut points. I mean, how many classes? And this is the width. Okay. So first you go to the first cut point location and you put the minimum value of the data. So what is the minimum value of the data? Set? Below, below what? Is there definitely? That is the thirty-two most points. Thirty-two. Yeah. 32 minimum is it clear? Seven clear. And here you put width equal to 10. You put 10. You can take 5 also, no problem. And you put, you select here number of cut points. Select this cut automatically. It will come automatically. After getting this, you see. Select a class. Okay. Now. Last. Last. Last point location is thirty two. I'm coming to that point. Last part point is one position. What's it? Why? I'm I'm trying to understand. What is the philosophy behind this? Hello. Say 32 is your minimum value. Take to understand. So definitely below 32 there will be a class. When you plot in the graph paper, you start from 0. 
So below 32 is a class. 32 to 41 is one class because with this chain, 42 to 51 is another class, 52 to 61 is another class, 62 to 71 is another class, 72 to 81 is another class, and this is 82 class. So now how many classes? Below 30 to one class. This is second class, this is third class, this is fourth class, this is five class, this is sixth class, this is seventh class. So when we take, there are six classes, so obviously number of cut points will be seven. Because below 32 there will be a class. Okay. Now Sam, you put the make levels. I you understand less than 32 is a class. Clear? Then click OK. One minute. When this menu will come, that means your operation is correct. But as in given winning specification, you create one variable. That means your total operation is correct. Now click OK. You go to the input file. Is it okay? So just you think 34 in which group? 32, 41. Now we click this A, A1. How many? Which class? Second class. Fourth class. Now we go to the variable view. Your class boundary is created. Now we we'll go to the value level. I hope it is clear. Less than 32, first class. Try to understand. Okay. Clear or not?
Because when you start your research, when you the primary data, maximum some observations are missing. Again, I am repeating some observations are missing. So in the research, so you have to write carefully your why the missing of There are three reasons for missing analysis. There are three reasons for missing analysis. Number one is, there are some data sets may be non applicable for the research. Not applicable for the research. That is also missing. There are some data sets, some respondents refuse to give the answers. Any respondent can say, I don't know. So that is one type of issue. Okay. Another is that not available. The data set is not available. So that is mainly, you know, occurred for the secondary data. Not available. In our website. So that is also one kind of issue. So in SPSS, the problem is there are one module only with the missing one. I am giving a simple example. So there are total 1500 observations. And out of 1500 observations, say 500 observations are missing. Maybe. So your any analysis, any output based on 1000 observations. So naturally I can ask the question that if you include all the 1500 observations, automatically your output will change. Is it okay or not? That's why we need the missing analysis. So for the case processing summary, we understand that there, for this data set, no one is missing. Is it okay? Now come to the descriptive part. Already I told you, there's a descriptive measures. Already I told you. Now what are the descriptive measures? The mean is given. Is it clear? 95% confidence interval that is in testing of hypothesis. We want to discuss. 5% trim mean that is basically used in outlet. Outlet. Median is given. Already I told you. Median is given. Square of standard deviation. Standard deviation square root. Then minimum value is given. Maximum value is given. Is it clear or not? Range is given. Interquartile range Q3 minus Q1. Interquartile range Q3 minus Q1. Skewness is given. And cardiothesis. Question is, when you check this, so very interesting notice, only three measures try to understand only three measures, that is the mean, skewness, and cartosis. Only three measures, mean, skewness, and cartosis, only the standard error value will be given. <coughs> Again, repeat. Again, repeat. This is the mean, skewness, and cartosis, only the standard error is given. Only the three measures. What is the reason for that? That means, these are called parameters. So mean is the parametric measure, skewness is the parametric measure, cardosis is the parametric But you know, for the median, no, nothing is given. Non-parametric. In the quarter range, quarter range, nothing is given. non This is very important. Because with the help of, if I take time to what I will discuss, you know, what is the importance of standard error? And with the help of standard error, we can find the outlier. With the help of standard. Is it okay? Can Go to the next part. Next part. This is very, very important. That is called stem and leaf. Have you heard the term? Yes or no? No. Yes. Yes. Very good. Someone said yes. Okay. Can I start? Yes. So stem and leaf. Okay. 
So if I ask you, that is 32 to 41, the frequency is 3. Can you tell me what is the meaning? That is the three observations. Liability is 32 to 41. But from this statement, is it clear no. which observation repeated how many times? So this is the demerit of frequency. <coughs> Maybe 32 repeated three times. Is it, am I wrong or right? And how can we get these statistics that which observations repeated how many times? The answer is called stable. The answer is called stable. So what is the concept of so, there are two terms, one is called stem and another is called leaf. First you check, what is the stem value, you tell? Three. And what are the leaves, you tell? You are telling to 30. You are telling to 30. Here. What is the weight is given? Then, very good, weight is there. So I am writing one formula that is stem into weight plus leaf. That gives the observation. That gives the observation. So what is that? First stem is 3. Is it okay? First stem is 3. What is the weight? 10. So 3 into 10, that is 30. Into 10, 30. Now, what is the first leaf? So 30 plus 2, 32, 32 is one observation. Then 33 is the second observation. Then 34 is the third. Again, repeat. Again, repeat. No problem. So here, the frequency is 3. That is, there are three observations. So what are the observations? First observation is that is 30. Last two, that is 32 is first observation. Then 30 plus 3, 33 is the second observation. Then 30 plus 4, so what are the three observations? 32, 33, and 30. Now you come to the second class, 43, 44, and 46. Now you come to the third class, 55, 56. So that is a fantastic application of the Bible. Bible. Better even nine. Or better even nine. Now come to the last part. Is it okay? So this is called, you know, this is very, very important. This is called five point summary. This is called five point summary. So first part is the maximum value. This is called third quartile. This is called second quartile, first quartile and minimum. Is it okay? This is called five point summary. First of all, this is called box plot. The my question is. My objective is what is the significance of this data? Because of any data, we get this data. But actually, if we change the data set, the data will change. So definitely there is some, you know, effect, impact, some significance. So what is the significance? So, the topper value is the maximum value of the data. Maximum. How many parts? How many parts? Five parts. So this is the first part. This is the second part. This is the third part. This is the fourth part. And this is the third part. Is it clear? So this is the, my maximum value. This is my Q3. This is Q2. This is Q1. And this is big. Is it okay? So from this, so this is the difference between maximum minus Q. Not 
clear. This is the difference between this is the difference between and this is the difference between. Okay, so that means this gives the data concentration. This gives the data concentration what the data is. So from this figure, we can check that we can check that maximum student marks this range, this range. This is less than this, less than this. So that's the good marks. Good marks. Because you are, you know, the gap between gap between maximum in Q3 is large. Gap between Q3 and Q2 compared to this gap is more. So if that is called gives the data concentration. And when you check the Jamobi and Kibono class, so there is a very interesting graph that is called violin plot. Violin plot, and from violin plot, easily you can get the idea of the data concentration. So where the maximum data Suppose you share market, really have an idea. If we apply the concept in share market, so from this diagram, easily you can understand where the maximum lies. From the past information. These are very, very interesting. Is it clear? Then there is indicated. And not only that, not only that, from this diagram, this diagram, we can easily compute. Q1 minus out there. Easily go. So, I'm showing one concept. How you find, write the question, how you find, how you find the initial outlet using S. Is it okay? So go to analyze. Go to descriptive. Go to explore. Explore. And you go to the top. It gives the high higher and high lower. 
initial one. If you have some hundred observation, it will show five or half, five or two. At least you get some. After this clear, the last part for the today's class, I will discuss the data available to very, very interesting. That is for Olaf. Have you heard the term? That is for Olaf. First, you write the meaning of Olaf. The Olaf is online. Analytical. So categorical variable, we can say that is called grouping variable. And non-categorical variable, we say summary variable. So data mining tool like OLAP used for analysis of grouping as well as summary variable. So there is a case study in 1971 for Ola. This case study is discovered in, you know, established in 1970. It's a very famous case study. The case study is that, and this case study basically nowadays is used for marketing research. Marketing research. The name of the case study is called consumer behavior. And the application is called point to internet. And the, what is that? That is, so there is a product that is called card. Product is card. You can consider any product, mobile, any car, any product. And for any product, there are different types of attributes. So what are the attributes? The number one attributes is the brand. Number two attribute is the color of eyes. Number three attribute is the color. Number four attribute is the guarantee. Guarantee or Number five attribute is the warranty. So these are the attributes. So you can take both of them. No problem. So, for any product carpet, there are three levels, three values. Say, maybe more than three. Maybe there are three price levels, C1, C2, C3. Maybe there are three colors, C1, C2, C3 of the car. Maybe the guarantee is yes or no, warranty is yes or no. So this is the product description. So very, uh, already you tell, for the brand, there are three levels. For the price, there are three levels. Other three levels. Guarantee two levels. There are two levels. Okay? So, in total, why there are total combination is that is the total combination is one zero eight combination. Total one view any possible combination. <coughs> and these all attributes, you know, are called the categorical variable. Because brand having three bands, we are going to be Price having some levels. Color having some levels. So these are all categorical variables. And there are total 108 possible combinations. So really question is all 108 possible combinations 
are linearly dependent on independence. Some combinations are linearly dependent. I'm not going to do that part because that is the concept of general. So our objective is these are called good ingredients. Now I'm considering sales of the product. That is the summary. So for any kind of analysis, you know, if you can segregate the future car and all proving materials and which are the summary. Then you can initially, before starting any you know, analysis, like conjoint, like logistics, like discriminant, like chemist clustering, like you know, ARN deva, any kind of clustering problem, first you solve this problem. You give some problem. So, for my problem, for my data set, so there are three subjects, that is subject one, subject two, subject three. So definitely these are called summary. Why? Because this is the scale thing. So these are called summary variables. And we have taken agenda, that is the critical. So for my example, there are three summary variables and one grouping variable. First of all, you tell me it's clear. So what is our objective? Objective is we want to generate some reports. We want to generate some reports, you know, for the level of groups. Generate some reports for them, men and women. Suppose we have some grouping variable like, you know, region, region, locality, qualification, age, different of, uh, grouping of age, different income group. So we can generate so many reports. So how we can solve for this problem? So better we go to analyze. Go to this analyze. And just to be under analyze, that is a concept is called report. Is it okay? Report. You select report. Okay. Then you select all of you. Okay. Yeah. You get this menu. Just you think, these are called panel. These are called panel. So this is summary variables. It is given, and this is grouping variables. So that you know which are the summary and which are the grouping. So you see that all three subjects under summary variables and gender is a grouping. Is it clear or not? Hello, clear. And three, one minute, one minute. Three steps. So just you think. So from Ola, we can solve some of the summary variables. How many cases? What is the mean? What is standard deviation? What is the percentage of total sum? So decide on this thing, discuss percentage of total sum and percentage of total sum. No need. So we need only this point. If we need the skewness kartosis, it will come. So in output we get only this point. Sir, after putting summary variables, we will see. Okay. Repeat. 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 Listen. So one rule is that if you go for repeat, you start from beginning. This is my rule. Okay. So go to analyze. Don't mind. Go to analyze, go to report, go to all of So then you go to select summary variables, mathematics, statistics, operation data. And gender as a grouping variable. Is it clear? Now we have select statistics. So in the output, we need to get some number of cases, mean and standard deviation, that has to be select uh, yeah. Is it okay? Which you know that we can select from the left panel. Continue. Okay. Three, four. You get this output? Sure. Just you check. That is very hello. Very interesting. Here is the gender total. Gender total. How many observations? Fifteen. 
that's total sum of mathematics marks, A64. Similarly for statistics, similarly for operation. Okay. Mean of mathematics is given and standard deviation is given. Here. Now what is the object? To compare between Bell and Bell. So just you select out. Select out. Okay. Select out. Or try other equations. Select out. Select out. Last one I click on. No. Okay, continue. 
मेन स्टैंडर्ड डिवीजन आपके अरे मेन स्टैंडर्ड डिवीजन का नहीं ना सामने ना नंबर ऑफ दिस दैट्स ऑल जो और भी दैट्स द थिंग हाउ मेनी केसेस मेल एक फीमेल एन एक एन एक एन एक और मैं हम लिख सकते हैं तो अपन जो लिख सकते ओके व्हाट इज द मीन For three subjects, on the final division, three subjects. Similarly, mean significant compare. So, part of this is better. Is it okay? Is it you can compare? One second, repeat, repeat. Go to analyze, report, and case summary.